Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have something really special to show you. One of my most popular videos is on this mousetrap. It's called a spring trap, and it was first described by Mescal in a book written 428 years ago. It's capable of catching four mice in one night. I was able to show that in the video. The way it works is we have a spring attached to a noose. You pull this down and then tie it with some string. You put bait in the back. The mouse sticks his head in there, chews through the string, releases the spring, and it goes up and you can catch them and they'll go down the line one after another. Now after posting that video, a viewer named Marcus from Sweden made this trap. It's 3D printed and it's basically the same design, only instead of using a spring, he used rubber bands, but he still has that noose in the string system. I already posted a video on this, it worked well. Now after that video, a lot of people had suggestions and Marcus made a better trap. This is the ultimate new and improved 3D printed version of the Mescal trap. One of the major improvements is instead of using a wire noose, he has a plastic plate. There's a groove down there, so when you set it, it's completely hidden. The mouse sticks his head in there, chews through the string, goes up, and you got him. The other improvement is this is kind of hard to set with the string, you gotta tie it. Now what he did is on the bottom here, he put some pinch grooves. So instead of tying, you just pull the string through and it holds it in place. That's easier to set. Now I'm gonna change out this thread for something a little smaller, easier for the mice to chew through. We're gonna go set this up in the barn, see if we can get four more mice in one night with the new and improved 3D printed Mescal trap. There is no denying that this style mousetrap is incredibly effective. Whether it's the original design that's over 400 years old or this modern 3D printed one, my only complaint is I wish it had more holes than we could catch the rest of the mice. I showed my dad the footage and he said it reminded him of a scene of walking into a public bathroom and seeing a bunch of dudes side by side at the urinal. That last mouse was really lucky. They have such a strong instinct to get food and chew through the string. If we had more holes, we surely would have got them. They're not scared of a bunch of dead mice side by side. They'll go right in there and get caught as well. If you have access to a 3D printer, I'll put in the link below a place where you can get this design for free. Marcus made that available. Also, next Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to make the original 400-year-old design. So many people ask that. It's a really simple build, and you can build it as long as you want. I've seen antique mousetraps of this style with nine or more holes, so that would be really effective. Now, also, I was really selective in how I edited the footage. I tried not to show too much. If you want to see that footage, I'll put the link in the description, and then you can see it on my other channel that's age-restricted and not monetized, so we don't have to worry about any censorship issues. Thanks again to Marcus from Sweden, and I have so many different 3D printed traps invented by YouTube viewers. I'm going to have to do one or two a week for the next few months, and there's some really creative ideas, so stay tuned.